What is going on guys, this is Dark Wolf here and today we're going to be looking at a quick tutorial on how to make probably one of the most requested videos that I get. It's how to make this scene with rocks flying in the air as well as uh, as well as a logo in your cinematic spinning around and just overall extruded so looking 3d so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need after effects of course and you're gonna you're gonna also need element 3d which is a plugin used to make 3d objects in basically a 3d space this is basically what we're gonna learn how to make today it's gonna be a logo spinning in circles with these rocks flying around looking really cool obviously these rocks here are very are tracked very properly but with a little bit of velocity and twixter you can always fix that stuff making go BOW and then here it looks nice and then boom, there it doesn't look nice and then you can always fix stuff up in uh, the other editing later but for this you're gonna need a really really smooth cinematic not okay I'm, I'm over exaggerating this too much you need a smooth cinematic otherwise you simply won't get the track you need and it will not turn out uh, how you want it so first things first find your cinematic for the purpose of this video I'm gonna use the exact same cinematic that we used in that montage which is this one right here and it's already imported into my After Effects so you're just gonna to want to drag it into this uh, into this tab right here and we can go ahead and just create a new composition right now so first things first obviously cut up to where you want your clip to start uh, I'm gonna have mine right start oops I accidentally press control shift s instead of control shift d and we can just go ahead and sync things up really quickly should take a couple seconds and there we go we're done now what you're going to want to do is track your can track your scene with and you can just simply right click on your uh on your layer and go to track camera or if you have a different version of after effects i have no idea um if if you do or, or if if it's different for different versions but it should be somewhere in the uh effects uh tab it should be an effect let's say 3d no somewhere in tracking or even down here in tracking i don't know because this is the only version that i use okay so let's go ahead and track that and while we wait we can actually learn how to make the 3d part of our logo so what you're going to want is you're going to want a transparent um, logo obviously and you want to have a logo with a transparent background so that you can clearly see the outline of your logo right here I've got the MTS logo um, perfectly outlined it's got nothing no white around it obviously if you have some white stuff around it if you have a logo with white stuff around you can always cancel that in Photoshop cancel it out in Photoshop or ca even cancel it out in here um, but you're gonna need you're gonna need to do that so what we're going to want to do is go into layer while having the layer selected while having our PNG selected go into layer auto trace right here second last thing at the bottom and you're going to have these I'm pretty sure that these are the default settings except channel isn't selected to alpha so just select alpha and everything else should be the same go ahead and click OK and what that's going to do is just going to outline it's going to trace the entire um, logo so we can go ahead and deselect that we can hide this layer as well and meanwhile this uh, uh not meanwhile sorry what am i even saying while this uh, scene is tracking we can go ahead and start uh booting up our element 3d so let's just go ahead and create a new layer create a new solid uh, we're going to name this one 3d logo and we can go into effects and preset into the effects and presets tab right here and search up element drag that right onto there and if you've got element 3d installed properly you should now have a blank screen let's go ahead and go into custom layer into the custom layers tab I always forget the the in my sentences let's go to the path layer one and we're gonna select the MTS logo PNG which has already been traced earlier then we can go into the scene setup and right here we can click the extrude button okay this will give us our logo extruded it's so awesome and so beautiful I can't even fathom explaining this to make things look a little, little nicer other than just having a plain old white ass uh, texture we're gonna want to add a material in in our materials tab so these are the default materials that come with element 3d and you I have a pro shaders installed so you can pick hundreds of others hundreds of other different uh, awesome 
uh, materials. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to drag Chrome onto there. You can also add a reflection to this if you want uh, by clicking this button right here and searching for a picture on your hard drive. It'll it'll reflect that picture onto this uh, onto this material. It looks beautiful, and it's essentially it's my signature style of cinematics. So I'm gonna, just going to quickly hide this. You guys don't have to hide it, but I just want to be able to see my uh, my actual cinematic here. So now we got the scene all tracked up. It's all dandy. We're going to want to pick a point while having the 3D camera tracker effect selected and the layer selected. You're going to find a spot that looks relatively tracked for the purpose of this video. I'm just going to pick a random quick spot. Uh, let me just make sure that it is at least somewhat, somewhat tracked. So it goes there. It goes that okay it should be pretty good okay then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click we're gonna select the null that we created create null and camera we're gonna click P on the null okay we're gonna copy these settings down of the uh, position that's the XYZ coordinates right there so we're gonna go ahead and open up I say I say we're gonna go ahead and open up we're gonna go ahead and do this we're gonna go ahead and do this okay gr open up group one open up particle replicator and you're just gonna copy the settings down so you can click Control C here, Control V here, Control C here, and Control V here. X, Y, Z coordinates. Now we can go ahead and unhide our freaking layer. And as you can see, it's tracked, except obviously the positioning, the size, isn't uh, how we want it to be. So that's when we go into Particle Look, which is the tab right under Particle Replicator, still in Group 1. We can go ahead and make the size a lot smaller. Let's actually just type it in too. And since the scene is tracked, you can move you can move your logo or whatever you, whatever you have here um, up. Give it a better position. You can also go into rotation. Um, it doesn't seem to be very angled properly because of the track of the scene. So we're just going to tilt it a little bit forward. In fact, I'm going to put that down just a little bit. Six. Okay. Uh, make it a little smaller actually one uh, Move it over to the left a little bit You can also move it further into the video. So right now. Let's just RAM preview this Oh god, this is gonna be a very bad track in my opinion because I think I made it too small So it was originally at 10. Okay, I have to remember that It's gonna be going extremely fast in my opinion. I think at least I'm not too sure so as you can see right now, even in this preview, this looks like such a boring scene. I mean, obviously, the lighting in this is so bad. And, okay, so let's, let me see this. Okay, so this looks so plain and so, like, un, unpleasant to the human eye. What we're going to do is we're going to add an animation to this um, object using keyframes. So we're going to go ahead and go to the first frame of our composition. Click on the little stopwatch here beside the Y rotation button and we're gonna uh, go to the last frame that you can see it and we're gonna select this value to let's say two spins and let's say 38 degrees okay now let's ramp preview that and see how that looks so as you can see you're already getting a little bit of a natural feel here obviously you don't have a shadow added I'm not gonna teach you guys how to do shadows because that's a pretty simple thing to do and also there's plenty of other tutorials for that as well. But to make everything look more realistic, you always want to add shadows to anything that you add in here. So that looks automatically a lot nicer. Um, you won't, you'll probably have a track better than this. I'm just quickly doing this to show you guys the basics or the, um, the principles of what I'm actually doing. Because th what you guys are asking for is, is, the t is how I did it itself. I'm not going to show you guys the actual customization of positioning it in the perfect place. I mean, this can take hours of composition I mean obviously this scene maybe take maximum half an hour because it's just rocks and a logo floating mid space but you know what I mean so after you're done with customizing your logo we're gonna now learn how to how to make rocks just flying in the scene make it look so awesome like there's just random shit in the screen so we can quickly in fact we can just use the exact same one press control D we're gonna rename this one rename this one to 3d uh, rocks just floating in the air and go back into the scene setup we're gonna delete this one right here oh wait oops 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 I'm stupid you have to go back into the custom layer take this to set this to none because as of, as of right now 
it still got it still got the MTS logo imported in the extrude button. So we can go into our models and by default there should be a ball fracture model. You can use the floor fracture as well, but I prefer the ball fracture because it just uh, I'm just more familiar with it. So we can add a small material that'll look like it'll match the ground. Um, let's say maybe this pep. Oh, that this definitely won't look nice. But for the purpose of this video, uh, we're just gonna quit. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how you actually do it. We're gonna want to make this a little bigger, obviously. Um, so as you can see right now, you might be thinking, Wolf, what the hell? There's just a big ass fucking sphere in my fucking composition. What the hell is this? So what we're gonna do right now, okay? First, let's disable this uh, this Y rotation. We don't need that. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go underneath the Particle Look tab. There's this thing right here. It's called Multi-Object. All right. You're going to want to drop down that menu and click Enable Multi-Object. And oh my god. Don't get scared. I know. I know. All these things come up. You have no idea what they mean. It's okay. This is the displace. Okay. What this basically did, Multi-Object, it basically just cut up the, the object into... A bunch of pieces okay let me show you what, what I mean by that when I increase this value this thing explodes into hundreds of little pieces well probably not hundreds but a bunch of little pieces and obviously you can change the amount of everything because this is after effects you got customization to your fullest okay so you can mess around with the oh god this this just looks so bad what Okay, let me just quickly change the material on this because I'm just not liking this. Okay, this is a little better, but it's still really bugging me because everything here is brown and like yellow and bright and these dark ass things have no shadows and they just, they're so like out of place. It's just, it's just so bothering to the human eye. But what you can see right here is essentially you've got roughly what I had in my videos right here with the rocks, okay? so. We can mess around with these options over here. We've got uh, the, we can X rotate. We can rotate them about the X axis for all of them. What I like to do is there's this rotation random here. It's uh, it'll rotate every single one of those individually into random different directions. It's so awesome, and that's what I always use. So you're gonna want to go into your first keyframe, go into your last keyframe that you can actually see them. Uh, put this level up to pretty high. Now let's round preview this. What this will essentially do is all of these rocks will be spinning in different directions the logo is spinning about its y-axis and you're just going forward panning right through it okay so that's what that's what we're expecting us to see right now it's gonna give it such a natural feel and so like it's gonna give you such a custom feel like look how amazing this would look if you added the correct uh textures the correct uh reflection i mean environment the correct shadows it would look so beautiful and it's just it's just so simple it takes what five minutes ten minutes to, to make and it's just those little things or those little things that look like big things that can change a whole montage or a whole video a whole edit in in, in a whole as a whole I don't even know what I'm saying my English is so bad right now okay so right here uh, we have these rocks that aren't tracked at all properly that's because they're so low and they're basically underneath the ground right so you can mess around with that by going to the replicator rotation and just changing the overall uh, position of the rocks through the rotation. Okay, you're not gonna want to. Yeah, if they, if that makes sense. I hope this helped. And uh, quickly before we finish off, I'm just gonna show you something that makes everything look a million times better. Please, ladies and gentlemen, add black bars to your movies. It makes everything look so much better. In fact, let me take the CC from here. Control C, go back into here. Control V, drop that right onto here. It makes everything look so much better. I mean, look at this. Look at this. One trillion times better. But this has been the Dark Wolf. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something today. And if you did, please be sure to smash a like on this video. But this has been the Dark Wolf. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay happy and be positive. And as always, stay humble.